Hey guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Thanks, let's begin. Look at me, I'm glowing! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and I am the Horror Show host. And today, I took a look at a, a, an Asylum film I was actually kind of interested in checking out. I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Um, not really my cup of tea anymore. I do like the Asylum movies, but I don't pay to watch it online when I, I just wait for the DVD to come out. But now that they're not putting them out on DVD as much, it's like, great, now i got to watch it online and then wait for a Region 2 DVD to come out or whatever. And pay for it with a third-party seller. Anyway, the movie I watched today was Triassic Hunt. Now, there will be spoilers later on in this video. There's not much to spoil, but there's some. So, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, this review will also be unscripted. So, the story for Triassic Hunt is basically there's a hiccup and a... A van that's carrying two giant allosauruses crashes. And now they call in for backup for the survivors of that crash. And, uh... They have to hunt the dinosaurs. Hence the name, Triassic Hunt. And I don't even know if the Allosaurus are from the Triassic era. Probably. Kind of like the Gojirasaurus were in Triassic World. Hint, hint. Yeah, so they go hunting. It turns out everything's been rigged. And it's like there's this huge setup where uh, they're actually having them be the test subjects. Along with the Allosaurus to show how good they can actually hunt. It's a cool idea. I think it's been done before a few times. Kind of like a... Uh, well, that's the uh, getting paid angle, Predators, from 2010. So what did I think of Triassic Hunters? I would show you the movie, but I don't have it. I just bought it on Amazon to rent it for $5.99. You mean you have to pay for a service to actually watch the product? Who'd have thunk it? What did I think of it? It's okay. First of all, let's get into the characters. There are... A few characters. There's about maybe seven or eight. And they all don't really get much development. In fact, the dinosaurs get more development than the actual characters in the movie. They're always getting revealed to have this new ability or special capability. It's like, why? I mean, they're dangerous enough, they're freaking dinosaurs, but now they have all these abilities that make some extra lethal and they're the ultimate predator and it's like come on i <sighs> okay i'll go along with it i guess but the characters kind of suffer for that you don't get to know much about them there's two characters a couple that were a couple that you can know, get to know a little bit about but uh, other than that it's really for grabs all the characters are interchangeable one guy has a sword and they never utilize it. there's a part where he's about to fight the dinosaur and then it, it doesn't happen. And then he's going to take out one of the bad guys. Never happens. Why? He has a sword aimed at the dinosaur like he's ready to attack. And then he just goes up and stabs the dinosaur. That's He doesn't fight it. He just stabs it. That's it. You don't get to see him do combat with the dinosaur like the Predator and Predators fighting off... What's his name? The, Yuka, um, the Yakuza guy. I forgot what his, what his name was, but he... Uh, he fought the Predator, and this one, he doesn't fight the dinosaur, he just runs up and jabs at it. Something you shouldn't do, but something that, something that could fight back with claws or other bladed weapons. Not a smart move. Another thing that's kind of annoyed me, at around 50 minutes in, I was like, okay, okay, maybe someone's gonna die now. There's one kill in the beginning. And then you wait until an hour and six minutes into the film, until the next kill. I was getting bored. It was very tedious. Like, people, oh, this guy's gonna die now, or, oh, man, this is gonna suck because I kind of like this character even though I don't know nothing about him. Oh, no, they're not gonna die. We're gonna have to wait and wait and wait. And then when the first person dies, there's no blood. It's an off-screen kill. They just runs up and bites him on the head, but it cuts away before you actually see anything. It's like, ugh. Cheap. It smells of cheap. But the one thing that does not smell of cheap is the visual effects. The CGI isn't too bad. It actually looks like they're there, but the shadow work could have been a little bit better. Yeah, but the Allosaurus look pretty good. I was quite surprised. Uh, I think it was Glenn Campbell who did the visual effects, and they're pretty serviceable. Obviously, this film has a lot of limitations. You can't do this, you can't do that, but they try to have some gore in there. 
not really on the level of other Nyasha movies that have been on the Asylum channel, but there's some. Like, just some bloodshed. Which is kind of a letdown. I was expecting Triassic Hunt, blood everywhere, fighting the dinosaurs to the bitter end. Uh, no. No. There's a lot of planning and finding out stuff, and, like, the occasional battle and trying to trick the dinosaurs, but... No. So what I recommend to this movie, this is basic sci-fi asylum fare. With good effects, weak character development with decent, at best, acting, and some different approaches regarding the dinosaurs. Other than that, I'd say, skip it. But if you like those kind of movies where there's no substance, go for it. There's some cool stuff to be had in here. Now I'll get into the spoilers. This is a sequel or a in-universe type of movie to Triassic World. I didn't know that going in. The trailer didn't tell me that. I was like, okay, it's just another Triassic movie. They're probably trying to capitalize on the last movie's success with the Triassic in the name. So, uh, that was all I thought. Then they had flashbacks to the, to the first much better movie. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. I got, I got, I got it. I'm picking up a one down. Yeah, but... One flashback was enough. They did it like three to four times. It was getting kind of annoying. And it wasn't like a short, quick flash of the flashbacks. It was like whole scenes or parts of scenes were in cut together. It's like, oh my god, I, I saw the first movie. And so then they introduce a new character who is never brought up or seen in the movie unless you concluded the flashback. And she wasn't in the first one. They just say she's some random scientist who disappeared and was causing all these problems for the company called the Triassic. And it's seen that her cigarette was on the ground, like they allude to it that she smokes and there was a cigarette outside the room, so maybe she was there. But she's never in the movie. And, like, in the actual current time in the plot. That was aggravating. That just kind of ended up like, I'm just gonna watch the sunrise. Or sunset. <laughs> and they don't elaborate on it. I was kind of pissed. I was like, okay, you built up this character that was never in the first movie, but you say she was there. Okay, I'll buy it. What, you're not even going to do anything with her? What's up with that? Oh, and the thing with the dinosaurs in the last movie, Triassic World, they were like, oh, well, they're as smart as a human. Now in this one, they find out that the comm signal, like the radio receptor, whatever you call it, is uh, embedded in the dinosaurs, and then they can actually understand what they were saying, they were saying through the comms. It's like, okay, now they can understand English. And what it means. Woof! <laughs> I was like, what? That, that's cool, but it's really pushing it. Like, as smart as a human, okay, that's been done with other creatures before, even back in, like, the 90s with the Deep Blue Sea. But now it's like, they can understand what you're saying. Like, I can understand if they understand your, gest your gestures, or your, uh... What your look, what your face looks like, how if you're angry or happy, it's like, oh yeah, well, I can I can understand that you can see what we're feeling or about to do, but not what we're saying. That's like next level bullcrap. I mean, it, it was cool when I when it first happened when they announced it, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, oh, stupid. <laughs> Quickly, I was like, that is just that was kind of too far, and I know. It would have been just another run-of-the-mill dinosaur movie if they didn't have that. And they have it, but they don't elaborate on it. Like, it happens, they they find out about it once. That they can understand what they're saying, they've been listening in, in on their comms. And, uh, then they start talking on their comms, still. And they don't, the dinosaurs don't seem to, it seems, they seem to have forgotten everything that they established. Like, oh, the dinosaurs can hear us over the radio. Okay. But then they start keeping talking over the radio, and they keep on making these plans, and the dinosaurs are aloof to the whole thing. It's like, what? You just established that they can understand you. Now they can't understand you? Oh my god. And there was a couple shots I was kind of annoyed with. There's one where they had a shot earlier of the girl running up the stairs and the guy running out the other way to distract the dinosaurs. They used that shot again, but it was supposed to be her and him running up the stairs. It's like, what? You couldn't even shoot them going up the stairs. Like, literally. Literally. It would have taken you an hour at most. Not even. 
But they, they just didn't have it. And they're like, oh, well, how are we going to know they went up the stairs? Because he had told us they're going up to the top of the roof. Oh! <laughs> this movie is aggravating. <laughs> I wouldn't have been as angry if they had character development and, and gore, but they don't. They do not have any of that. Except for maybe a hint of character development and some bloodshed. I don't know. If you want to watch it for the visual effects, go for it. By all means. But if you want to watch it for a well-written story that stays within its own um, continuity and established rules, uh, has... Yeah, that's another thing. The continuity is shit. Like, and the first movie ends with a black girl. She survives. And uh, she's holding the, one of the Gojurasaurus' eggs. And that never comes up. She never comes up. This other girl does, but she's never even seen in the movie, so what's the point? I don't know. The Gojira sources are not even in this movie, it's just all about the Allosaurus. <sighs> yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I'm getting pretty aggravated just talking about this movie. Uh, I watched it, and I was like, oh, it's engaging, and then I was after, I was like, this is, that movie kind of sucked. Uh, but anyways, check it out if you want to. I'm not telling you not to. If you like seeing dinosaurs that actually look kind of cool and realistic in some capacity, I'm not stopping you. I can't stop you. It's up to you if you want to watch this movie. Will you waste an hour and a half doing so? There are worse movies out there. For sure. Way worse. And I'm talking movies with character development and gore that just are worse than this movie. Because it was handled really poorly. So there's a dislike towards it. This one, it's just, it's run-of-the-mill asylum fair. So, thank you all for watching, and lie and Brian Gatto, the horror show host. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon, or even a dollar a month will help keep this channel going on strong, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Plus, you get access to body counts and other music videos that you can't get on YouTube because of copyright and age restriction. Also, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And as always, subscribe!